Now, 2016 is a year where many people were offended by the littlest of things, where everyone basically thought that you were racist, you are wrong, and all that stuff, which is more political than what we're talking about today. But there's also another group of people, which are the animal rights activists. And now, don't get me wrong, I'm all for the well treatment of animals and to stop them from being like ill treated, such as like industrial testing, like testing of makeup products and stuff like that, which basically you're treating the animals like shit. But this video is on PETA, which have called out a bunch of video games, Minecraft, where they made their own server. And now PETA's also gone after Farming Simulator. Yes, you heard that right. And also Pokemon. Ladies and gentlemen, they they went after Pokemon because you put an animal and an animal against each other and they fight. I mean, seriously, guys, Pokemon fucking Pokemon. Uh, oh my days. <laughs> and I thought the social justice warriors were bad. I mean, seriously. Ladies and gentlemen, 2017 is off to a cracking start. And now, Petov's now gone after Games Workshop with their Warhammer series. You all guys know what the Warhammer series is. And now, Petov has sent a written statement over to Game Workshop CEO. They have asked that all fur garments to be removed from every Warhammer character. Yes, you heard that right. They don't like the fact that characters in this game are wearing fur, like dead animals, fur, and basically all that, which understandable if someone like a famous person in real life was wearing something like that, maybe, okay, they have the right to criticize them, but come on guys, it's polygons, algorithms. It's not real. Now, I will read the quote out from their report that they sent to Game Workshop. It's nothing on the bloody battlefields of Warhammer's conflict with ra Ravaged Universe could match the terrible reality that foxes, minks, rabbits and other living beings experience at the hands of the fur trade. We appreciate that these are fictional, draping them in what looks like a replica of dead animals sends the message that Wearing fur is acceptable, where in fact, it has no more place in 2017 than it would in the year 40,000. Bit dramatic. Okay, now, Petter, if that's what you're saying, that people wear fur in games, encourages people to go out and kill animals and wear them as part of their clothing line, then you are stupid. I'm sorry, you are stupid. What other word can I use apart from you are stupid? Now, in Warhammer, does that mean I can pick up a sword and go up to an office block and say, You're all orcs, I'm gonna smash the crap out of your fucking faces. Is that what I'm gonna do because I've been playing this game? No, so what makes you think I'm gonna want to wear a dead animal around my fucking neck? Come on, seriously. And this also includes orcs and the Chaos Marines in the Warhammer series, so not only the good guys can't wear fur, but the bad guys can't wear fur, so the bad guys cannot also wear fur. Which, if Petsa doesn't like the fur trade, maybe they should say, bad guys should wear fur because it's a bad thing to do, and you don't want to be part of the bad guys, hey? Eh? Bit of thinking there, Petsa, which you, you sort of missed out on. But, either way, this should not be an issue for you. It's polygons, algorithms, software, coding, None of it's real. It's all fictional. Killing polygons on a screen is not gonna do fuck all. No one's getting hurt. No one's no one's being killed. No one's having their hit feelings hurt. Let's be honest now. There are many games that allow you to wear fur, and now they're going after Warhammer because people in that game are wearing fur. Now this is where Games Workshop has to be resistant to people like Petter in this because if organizations who are offended by something can dictate what people put out on the internet then it's going to be a scary world if content and games and creative arts and media is dictated by people who say that's wrong that's offensive even though it's not real if they were actually involved in the fur trade and actually killing animals then that's a different topic but when it's polygons and pixels Come on, seriously? Now, Petter, you need to actually realise just what video games actually are and what they actually entail because 
violence in video games, that's been a whole topic. Research has actually proved that video games violence does not cause real life violence. So why would fictional fur trade and fictional dead animals, fictional fur, want make me go and kill an animal and put it around my neck? It's not going to happen. Do the research, guys. It's It's just ridiculous. You're basically, you're moaning for the sake of moaning because that offends you and you can't have it because other people have different viewpoints on you. This is the whole thing in this world where if you don't agree with me, you are wrong, which is not a world that we want to go down because if everyone was the same and everyone agreed on everything and everyone had to bow down to one person's feelings or one group's needs and feelings, it's going to be a cold world because when everyone's doing what one person wants, that's not how we evolve. That's not how we grow stronger. It'd be a scary world if that was to ever happen. So, Peta, video games aren't your field, so do us a favor and piss off. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like because it makes me feel happy because you, enjoy, because you are enjoying a fat man rambling on the internet. And if you want to see more content like this in the future, make sure to subscribe to MOC Tech because we have a whole bunch of this planned up for the summer and over the mo and over the coming months. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in another video. Take care.